What is up guys, Captain Packin here. I see that only 14% of you subscribed right now. If you want to be packing like me, make sure to drop that sub button. And remember, always stay packing. What is up guys, Skyler here. Today we're doing Doc Brown versus Doctor Who. A couple things I want to say before we start is for all the people that were paying $4.99 a month, that has been changed to $0.99 cents a month, but you have to manually go back in and under my channel hit the join button and do it again because that way it prevents people from getting upcharged or something like that if I were to change it higher. And for all the people wondering what that is, if you go hit the join button, you pay uh, 99 cents a month. And what it does is you get a badge next to your name uh, and you get emotes and you get a special role in the Discord. Another thing, join the Discord. We've been getting the Discord super active. Ask me questions, anything there. If you want me to talk about anything or have uh, suggestions or just anything, go there. It's the first link in the description. We talk about so much there. Okay, let's get straight into it. Skyler with a minute long intro. Damn, you hate us nowadays. Is that Zach? That looks like Zach. Ooh, actually, if you don't mind, it's just the doctor. Okay. Doesn't even really matter who. Who am I even talking to? Oh yes, you. The wannabe Einstein, that is the star. Travels through time, but. Okay, okay. Give me a second. That really. What? What was going on here? Mind. It's just the. Actually, if you don't mind, it's just the doctor. Doesn't even really matter who. who oh. Oh, I get it now. Okay, so it doesn't really matter who, Doctor Who. So he's talking to, like, the announcer person. That really threw me off, because he did it, uh, you know, when they did the announcing. Do versus Doctor Who began. Actually, well, hold on there, Mr. Announcer Man. I got something I want to say. I get that. Okay, that definitely threw me off. Is that, like, the... I think that's the first time they've ever... Or the only time they've ever done it. I, don't, I got, like, what? We got, like, six more ERBs left? I don't remember them ever doing that or something. Uh, so that was interesting. Okay, let me let me redo it all now, knowing what's going on. Actually, if you don't mind, it's just the doctor. Doesn't even really matter who. Who am I even talking to? Oh yes, you, the wannabe Einstein, that is the star. Travels through time, but with no clouds, seeing okay. the world like a dilly dally. You can't even invent a way out of Hill Valley. Can't tell you. <laughs> Everything is going to be fine. You're not gonna tear any wonky holes in any fabric of space and time. Actually, okay. it's a lot more like a rug, really. Oh, but never mind. Let's just say there's an infinite number of me simultaneously kicking your ass with rhyme. Okay, it's definitely Zach now that I hear his voice. <sighs> Starting off the verse like that was cool because, you know, in Doctor Who he does like have a lot of like monologues with like Jesus or like whatever you believe or the higher being, whatever it may be. So I get that reference. Uh, what I don't, the verse itself, meh. I did like the whole you can't invent your way out of Hill Valley because, you know, while Doctor Who is more of a master when it comes to time travel compared to Brown, uh, you know, he always, when Dr. Brown, uh, you know, travels through space and time, it's always in the same place, Hill Valley, so you can't invent your way out of it. I like that, and I did like the whole, uh, you know, explaining in all these theoretical universes, I'm kicking your ass, but I swear the flow didn't feel as nice there. It was kind of on, it felt off, and plus, the it just didn't, that didn't feel too nice. Okay, so Zach, come on, come in here. I know Zach can murder. Okay. Hey, the DeLorean. Hey. You couldn't be having less sex. I don't know what's wrong with your fans or your special effects. Eh. Hey. Time to debate. Time to face your permanent fate. Now, Dalek, my balls. So okay, I get what I get what's going on here. Uh, I get what's going. So they're they're both like odd scientists, odd cr cr uh characters. So they're like their flow's really odd. But I feel like Zach did it way better. And dude, Zach could fucking play any character, in my opinion. And I think Zach's uh. Well, Doctor or Doctor Brown's verse is way better. Uh, I did like, you know, talk about all his companions not having sex. That's goofy, even though, come on, come on, Zach or Doc Brown, yeah, you ain't you talk to kids all day. You know, it's kind of weird. Uh, I and he said, you know, who, who's the real doctor here? I like that reference. That was a good reference. He referenced the special effects, and I, you know, the beginning of Doctor Who's special effects were completely. Uh, were ridiculous, but I mean, it got better with time. And the the my favorite bar here. Time to face your permanent fate. Now Dalek, my balls. Now Dalek, my balls, which is a reference to the older enemies, but Dalek, Dalek, my balls. I like that. 
Oh, exterminate! Ah, and he gets shot. Okay, I like that. It's cool. Perhaps you'd like another. Prepare to meet your density. I'm a mystical medical talk at the. Hell yeah, my boy Watsky's here, dude. I didn't know Zach and Watsky's was in Watsky was in this battle. This is like my two favorite. Hell yeah, dude. Your density. I'm a mystical medical talk at the pinnacle, shifting my physical form. Ah, okay. Individual who should have never been born. Hey. Oh, <laughs> it's McFly. Marty McFly is here. Nobody calls me chicken. I'm sorry. I paused it. Okay, so he's the fourth doctor because the fourth doctor is a lot more regenerative. And I like that. And Watsky came in. I love the scarf dog. The scarf. I do. He came in with the Oedipus complex, you know, the whole sex with the mom type thing. And Bok Bok calls him who doesn't like to be called chicken or calling him a chicken because he doesn't like it. I did like that reference. Uh, and the, uh, I did like the whole. Uh, he gives you an idea on who he is, saying, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a mystical medical doctor who can, you know, fuck with my form. Because that's what the fourth doctor is all about, so I like that. See, that's what I was referencing. He always hangs out with kids. Watsky always plays the most ballin' characters. Hold up. He always plays the... What? He's done... Uh, who did he do? He done Shakespeare... And he did Edgar Allan Poe. Probably someone else. He always has like the tightest fit on too, dude. Watsky's a baller, I swear. Marty McFly. This is between us, Scarfy. Don't try to outrun me. You'll find okay. I'm as grimy as any slimy time, Limey. Hey. A porta potty time machine is my latrine. Don't run a trip <laughs> with nine lives. You're a pussy with 13. Hey, hold up. You guys told me to watch till the end when I did watch this. What? Are we doing it again? Actually, if you don't mind, it's just the doctor. <laughs> okay, I see what they did there. The whole dildo screwdriver, the sonic uh, driver thing. Okay, okay, I see what they did there. I, I called it a dildo as a kid. Uh, okay, I did like... So, I think Zach won, or uh, Doc Brown won. I feel like his verse was a little bit better. I will say, bringing a Watt skin almost, almost brought it back. But I definitely like this reference here. Uh, uh, the porty potty as the latrine, the whole time travel machine. But you're not a cat with nine lives. You're a pussy with 13. Ooh! because the doctor can like uh, regenerate like 12 times plus him so 13 you're a pussy with 13 Ooh, that was nice that was nice okay but yeah i gotta give it to doc brown i think he won uh but thank you to all the people that came by let me know in the comment section down below what you guys should think i should do next and i will see all of you guys next time can't stop won't stop running to the back you losing i've been running shit no i can't come and last can't stop won't stop running to the back